Thank you for joining me, Coach Fell. Welcome to the Varsity Sports Show. How are you doing today? Great. How are you doing? Pretty well. It's a pretty day today, so it's pretty good outside. Good deal. Awesome. So you have a great winning record as a head coach. How did you get started into coaching? Um, I'm from a coaching family. My um, my older brother was a coach. My dad was a coach. And uh, it was just a kind of a natural progression that way. We, it's a family. It's been coaching a lot of football for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I noticed in one point in your career, you had a pause from coaching. What did you do during that time away from the sport? Uh, you know, not much, really. That was the thing. That's why I got back in it. You know, I, I had a little French bulldog, hung uh -huh. out with him for about a year, and that was it. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I noticed you came from Mountain View High School. What did you bring from Mountain View to McCl McClintic? And what coaching skills have you brought them that have been so successful in the football team? Well, you know, Mountain View is one of those. Um, it's a totally different breed of guys, you know. Um, so I've got a the, the school I'm at now, McClintock, is a lot like the last school I had when I was in Ohio, the type of athlete. And so that's kind of what I brought, just the knowledge of how I got to relate to these guys and to get them to play as a team. And, you know, it's a big thing here to get kids to feel like a family because we have a lot of kids that come from different parts of, the, of Arizona, you know, from Phoenix. You know, these kids don't live in the neighborhood. You know, they – they come from all different parts. So we got to get them feel like it's a family and like they're working together. Right. That's awesome to have a family environment. What are some of the challenges um, with being a head coach and what are, how do you overcome those things? You know, the big thing in Arizona is it's 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go out and practice with whoever guys you've got in January. So, I mean, I love kids, but hanging out with them every day, for 365 days, you know, it gets a little bit tiring and uh, you got to stay on them with their grades. You got to do all those different things. So Arizona presents some real challenges that way because it's a full time job. But then to have assistance, you know, doing kind of helping you out and nobody gets paid a whole lot. So it's something you get. You, the guys you have are guys that really want to be there. The kids you have are the same thing. So it's it's one of those things. It's it's kind of a tough job. Right. I understand that. What do you enjoy most about your career as a head football coach? You know, I've always loved to compete. I, um, you know, I'm still in it because I, you know, I played, I played in high school, I played in college and it, the competition aspect, getting kids to reach their potential. You know, that's the big thing to get kids that you see as freshmen, they're scrawny little dudes. And then they, you get them in a weight room and then you get some confidence in them and you see them grow up. It's always fun to be a part of that. Right. So in closing, what are some of your first priorities for the upcoming football season and what can we look forward to? Our number one priority is having every young man eligible for the game. Um, you know, we have to spend a lot of time on academics and, uh, you know, if we can get them all eligible, we'll have them ready on the football field. Awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure talking football with you, Coach Mike Fell. Thank you for joining us on the Varsity Sports Show. I'm Kelsey and it's been a pleasure with uh, talking to you. Yeah, same here, Kelsey. You do a great job.